time now for Tech Talk. Jason Strong from at and is here with us now. We're talking about a really, really important topic, bullying and social media. And you guys have come up with some apps that we have here that might be able to help us, right? Yes. So, I mean, you're going to see a lot of children now that are going to have cell phones from mm -hmm. a young age. And that's going to be their main form of communication. So that's right. also going to be a way that they're bullying now. Okay. So we actually have a few apps out there um, mm -hmm. that you can use on your smartphones that mm -hmm. are going to help parents, students, and schools kind of stay alert to this. Okay. So one of them is No Bullying. Um, what this does is this allows parents to get kind of some research done. It's going to show them, you know, what to look for as warning signs. It's mm -hmm. going to give them conversation starters, that type of thing, okay. so that they can better educate themselves on bullying. That's a super important one because some parents don't even know what to look for, right? Right. I mean, this is a whole new thing. I mean, with texting, social media, this mm -hmm. is a new form of bullying that we're seeing quite a bit. Um, so just to be aware of that and know how to, how to handle it's important. Absolutely. And then the other one we have is Smart Limits. I really, really like this one. Yes. So with Smart Limits, um, AT&T has that for its customers to, um, you can do a lot of different things. You can block calls, you can mm -hmm. block text messaging on up to 30 numbers. So this is a way that you can actually control the phone and who's getting a hold of this, of, of your child or anybody. And, and sometimes you may actually have to go to that extreme, right? Yes. I mean, if you want to put a stop to somebody kind of harassing somebody, this is a way that you can do so. It's kind of unfortunate that sometimes we have to do right. that, but we want to make sure that we take care of people in and that And it's way. important for parents to know that these tools are actually out there for them to use. Exactly, yes. Okay, and then the third one that we want to focus on, stop so, it. So, stop it. What this does, it's going to allow schools to give their students the ability to re um, report mm -hmm. bullying anonymously. So they can send this information so the kids don't have to be afraid of repercussions from their, you know, yes. other students and things like that. They can send this out wow. without anyone knowing who it was. That's so important to give them that outlet, like you said, to do it anonymously, to, mm -hmm. to, to just give them a way to feel safe and to report something that is so serious. Yes. And then there's also a help it button within this mm -hmm. that helps them connect to a 24-7 crisis yep. support center. So that way if they do want to talk to somebody about it, maybe they're not ready to talk to mom and dad yet. Right. There is somebody that can help them. Oh, unfortunately, we have to go about this, but there are things that parents can do out there, and it's important to know those resources and that they are available to you and your kids. Exactly. All right. Thanks so much for being with us, Jason. For more information about these apps, just visit our website, click on the Tech Talk link, and we have all that information for you right there.